Welcome to my channel, friends. Today we will see DHCP over IPsec using Fori client and Fori gate firewall. So, if you go to my channel, the very first video that I uploaded, this one is for the mode config auto, and this one is uh, for the manual configuration. And right now, I'm going to show you how to do that um, using the DHCP mode. Let me log into my device. Okay, so if you go to this for the client, so you can see here, uh, setting is similar. This is the firewall IP address on which it is listening for the negotiation. 192.160.107, pre-shared key. Have disabled the exhort, but then in the VPN setting, I version one aggressive and the option. So we already have video, I think, in my channel for the mode config and manually set. So right now we will see DHCP over IPsec. So I have clicked on that, and by the way, there is no option of split tunneling. Auto force split tunneling from the firewall. There is no configuration that is pushed from the firewall into the system for any kind of split tunneling. So it is uh, uh, the manual configuration that is that should be there on your system to impose the split tunneling. So in order to do the split tunneling, you will have to click on enable split tunneling and then you'll have to put the destination address separately. Like I said, you will have to uh, manually assign the remote address or the address that should be exempted that should get into the tunnel. So you can see the phase one, group two, you can see the phase two. I don't want PFS, so I haven't done that. Let me show you the tunnel settings. If you go to my tunnel. So dial up user. I'm listening on to port one. Primary IP is 107. Mode config, I have not checked it because this is DHCP over IPsec, the last uh, option. DHCP over IPsec. Not traversal enabled. You can see the advanced settings. Appreciate key. This is the same as what I have here. Aggressive mode, specific ID. You can see here, I already entered the local ID here. Test, group two, test group two. Exhaust disabled, phase two. If you go to advanced, well, you will have proxy ID or the interesting traffic as 000. Dash SHA1, Dash SHA1, and that's it. So, this is the configuration, pretty simple for the VPN. Once you are done, you will have to create the policy. So, in my case, I have created the policy. The source interface is the VPN interface, the one that we created just now. The destination is the port 2 because I'm going to take the access of the firewall 14140 from the system that I'm logged into. So I haven't done any kind of uh, filtering here. I have allowed everything, no natting. Okay, so this is also done. So now you will have to go to the network interface. Okay, once you create the VPN, you will see the VPN interface. Click on that, edit, and most of the time you will not have any IP here. So what you'll have to do, you'll have to put the IP address. And then the remote mask. And then the mask, subnet mask should be 255.255.255.255. You'll not be able to enter slash 24. Uh, let me demonstrate to you. See, it is showing invalid net mask. So on the tunnel interface, you should always have 255.255, which is slash 32. Okay. 
Okay, I think I have missed the remote. Like I said, let me try to have slash 24 and let's see whether it is accepting it. So mm -hmm. for the remote IP, it is accepting it for, for, the, uh, for the local subnet, it is taking slash 32. So keep this as this one. And then enable the DHCP server. Okay, so I am going to assign the pool Okay, so what it is showing, IP address must be within the gateway subnet. Okay, and let me check the configuration. So I've given the subnet, I've given the range as 10, 10, 10, 11 to 10, 10, 10, 20. As you can see here under the DHCP server configuration. Okay, and one more important thing you will have to do here is you will have to change the type. Click on advance. Um, you can do it from the CLI as well. So you will have to set it as IPsec. If you will not have the settings, your DHCP server will not be able to give away the IP address if the traffic is coming via your tunnel. Let me show you that. So I'm not going to change this so that I can show you what is the effect of this okay and one more thing is uh, you will have to do a configuration where you have to tell the ipsec that i want to have dhcp or ipsec but unfortunately you will not see that option in the phase two in gui Okay, so what you'll have to do is you will have to you'll have to go to the VPN phase two
So now here you will have to set DHCP over IPsec. You'll have to enable this using CLI. Once you are done, Okay, so it is enabled. So I'll show you if you will not set this particular attribute under the DHCP on the tunnel interface, it will not work. So let me try to connect. So you can you can see here I still have a, a PIPA IP. I don't have the IP yet on the adapter. This is after is already in DHCP mode. So let me show you the effect of not having that server type to DHCP or IPsec. So this one, set server type to IPsec, DHCP or IPsec, instead of having regular. So what will happen is, you see the phase two is up, but then I am not able to get any IP out of the DHCP server, which is running on the tunnel interface. You can see here, there is a DHCP discover message from our client from 68 port number which is obviously DHCP uses 68 on client and 67 to send the DHCP discover. But then my firewall is not responding for this DHCP request, DHCP discover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set that configuration, which I just told you. So let me show you what does it mean. So IPsec means it is DHCP over IPsec. Okay, so that is what I'm going to configure here. So now everything is cool. I still don't have the IP address. Let me try to disconnect this. Okay, you can see here, I got the IP address 10, 10, 10, 11, which is my DHCP scope. You can see here, this is a DHCP scope. So I'm getting the IP address. And like I said, I have a split tunnel enabled manually on the system 40 client itself. So if you check your routes, you will have 14, 140, 4204 manually inserted induced into your routing table. Okay, so if I try to ping, so you can see here, I'm able to ping it. So to confirm that, I will take a capture on the 40 client to show you that it is actually coming to the 40 client. You can see here, 10, 10, 10, 11 is hitting the ping towards 10, 14, 140, 40, 204, and the reply is going back. All right, guys, uh, please follow these steps. 
uh, you'll have to enable the DHCP on the TUN interface. Once you're done with the VPN configuration and then change the type to IPsec from normal. Okay, so you can find the settings under network interface. VPN, go to advanced settings. You'll see it under type. You can see here I have changed the type from regular to IPsec. And then under the VPN in GUI, you will not be able to see the phase two IPsec, DHCP over IPsec. So you will have to do it under your, you will have to do it in CLI. That is, you will have to enable this particular attribute under the phase two DHCP IPsec enable which will allow the DHCP packet with source 68 and with source port 68 and destination port 67 to fly over the tunnel and the firewall will be able to respond to that discover with offer and then you know the complete tour process so that you can have the IP address assigned. Let me show you. You can see here my adapter is having 10, 10, 10, 11 with the subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And I'm connected to the system. You can see here the details under monitoring 10, 10, 10, 11. Connected. So I don't think I have left anything in this particular tutorial. I have covered everything. Anyways, guys, if you have any question, you can leave it in the comment section. And please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button. Stay tuned for more updates and stay safe in your home. Have a good day. Bye-bye.